Thank you for being <laughs> uh, Unfortunately, we, I was a little, probably about 30 or so seconds late to a meeting and we have a bit of a dictatorship going on within our camp. We have uh, three lads looking after any, um, I suppose, anyone out of line, as they'd say. And uh, we have a wheel of fortune back at the back at our base and uh, I spun that I had to wear this Eden Park suit for uh, for our, um, for the day in and out to training so it just so happened to be uh, media day as well so you get the pleasure of seeing me in it. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, going back to the, the weekend sort of how happy were you as a as an individual and as a team with the performance against Romania? Yeah I think we were particularly with the second half definitely we were much happier I think you know, at half time we were we felt we, we could have been been a lot better in the first half, but I think we rectified that in the second half and um, you know, we, we put some, some really good uh, phases of phase of play together and scored some really nice tries. So certainly pleased with um, after the game for sure. And from a personal point of view, how did you how did you wreck your performance and sort of uh, <laughs> the tries? Yeah, no. Look, it's always nice to get over the get over the line for for a try for sure. And um, you know, probably on a personal point of view, there's a few few areas of the game I probably look back on. And I, I definitely know I need to fix fix up. So um, certainly a lot of room for improvement still. What does it say about the character within the squad that even though Romania scored first, you guys still went about the business the way you wanted it to? Yeah, I, you know, sometimes sometimes that can happen. You know, you don't start the way you wanted to start, but it's probably it's all about kind of coming back to that neutral point and uh, getting your getting your heads back in the game and go, going again. And uh, you know, we we did that we did that on uh, Saturday, and um, you know, it could happen again this this week coming. And um, we're going to have to be able to you know put that behind us and just focus on the the next job at, at task. Before we get on to Tonga, I just want to. Final question about the Romania game. Johnny Sexton's first game back since the Six Nations. The, you know the points, the records he set. What does it say about him as a player that he's sort of having been out so long, coming back and putting in a performance like that? Look, he's done it time and time again through his whole career. He's had long spells on the sideline before, and um, he's come back in, and he's always, you know, he's he's at a standard where. Um, most players strive to strive to get to, and you know that's just his standards. And um, you see it every day here in training, and you've seen it all through the preseason um, how well he was training. So it was no surprise that he uh, once again he just stepped in and um, did what he always does and play exceptionally well. And what is that? You know, sort of what's he like as a captain? What is he like as a leader in the squad? Yeah, he's he's a brilliant leader. That's why he's our captain. Um, he's. He, you know he he demands a lot from everyone on the field and you know when you when you put in performances like he does um certainly have a right to the demand a lot from from the players around you um he brings up look at he he's someone who, br who brings those standards up in training and um everyone like, uh, looks to and when, when he talks everyone listens because he knows the game so well and um you know he's an exceptional leader and uh yeah and looking ahead to this weekend, it'll be Tonga's first game. You know, as you say, probably a step up from Romania. What are you expecting from them as a side? Yes, yeah, so look, it's their first game of the of the campaign. Um, so they're going to be obviously very excited to get out there and um, play their first World Cup game. Um, I can imagine that they're probably looking at us and they want to have a have a real go go at us. Um, and I, I, I'm expecting them to be very physical. Um, I'm expecting them to, to not be afraid to throw the ball around and have a go at us. Um, so we're 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 preparing um, like any other game, and we're quite we're looking forward to it. Um, we we're expecting a lot from them. Um, so you know we're we're preparing as best we possibly can. And given the the sort of team's ambitions for this tournament, you know South Africa after that after Tonga, and then it'll be Scotland. How important does the squad depth and strength come into play? Yeah, it's huge. Um, you know, you, we, we've said that from day one of pre-season. All the players that were there on that day, um, any one of them could end up playing in this World Cup, and um, everyone's everyone's prepared as best they could for this. Um, you know, every day in training here, we're, we're making swaps, and everyone's 
able to fit in. Everyone understands what we're trying to do here, and no matter uh, who goes down, if someone gets injured, the next man up is is just as ready as the guy who was starting. So, um, you know, the squad, the whole squad's going to be huge um, throughout this tournament. It's just the nature of the sport where you do pick up injuries, and um, you know. Hopefully we don't, but if it does, um, there's not going to be a worry within the camp because we know whoever's up next is ready to go.